Hi and welcome. I'm here to demonstrate how to do a sales demo with a breaker simulator and the instrument TM 1700 or 1800. Today here we have a TM 1800. Um, the only thing you need is the equipment delivered with the instrument and the simulator. I want to do also a motion measurement and I'm going to do digital motion today and then I need also a digital cable, a GA00889 because that one fits to that specific outlet on the simulator. The simulator is in a robust transport case. It has instructions in the top but also hidden in the lid, the power supply, which we need to connect to the AC. We start with the connections. The first thing we want to do is to connect the grounding cable. We start with connecting in the breaker, in this case, the simulator. This is, of course, much more important in the station where you have capacitive coupling and other disturbances but do these connections also for a demo. After that we continue with the power supplies. We connect between the close and the open channel. We supply the minus and we supply the plus and loop that with a loop cable. We continue with the supply cable. We're using the control cable to the same plus and minus and we get this power from the 24 volt DC output of a simulator. We then continue with close on instrument and close on simulator. Um, we take the open on the instrument and open on the simulator. After that, we continue with the MR cables. There are three MR cables this type. Phase one. Connect to first phase, A. Second phase to channel B. third to channel C and we're using the red and black. The blue part here is not in use so we just put that aside. So now you have prepared the whole control and the timing. So if you don't want to do motion you don't you stop here and continue with power supply and then you're ready to do your setup. But I want to do motion so I'm going to use this cable the digital cable. Connect it to the first channel on the digital module. And you need to continue here to the, to the simulator. And you need to connect this one all the way to the bottom, otherwise you won't get a good contact. Like that, now you have all your connections. The only thing you need to continue with now is the supply. Supply to the instrument. AC supply. And the power supply for the simulator. And now you 
ready to continue with your setups. You start your Kaba local in the instrument. You go to the breaker list. You define a new breaker from template and you can try with a generic template, one break per phase, common drive, no resistor contact, and here you have to decide whether you want to measure with or without motion. I'm going to do with motion. I give the breaker a name. and back and accept. As you see now, it's prepared for a small breaker. But I also want to do some adaptions. I need to adapt the timing pulses, the delay pulses. For this operation, the delay is already set, correct? But here I have to enter a delay of 150 milliseconds. Also on this multiple operation before the open pulse, like that. And this is for the simulator. I'll go back and I also want to change the measurement preferences. Motion measurement preferences. I want to do a motion with a digital transducer. I want to use relative because I don't know the details more than the stroke. So I fill in the stroke in millimeters. And the speed calculation points I use for standard settings. Now I'm prepared. I begin a new test. And start with a close operation. Go to hookup and diagrams. And co check my connections. I can see here how to connect. Same way for all different. You can also move here in the background. Now you're ready to turn the knob to do the operation. Now we continue with the measurement. We're going to turn the knob so the instrument will operate the circuit breaker simulator. I turn the knob to the right and the measurement begin after a short delay. And the status indication change on the simulator. After that you get processing and the instrument will show you the graph and parameters. And we get a result on the screen. What we can see here is the three timings, red, yellow, and blue. The coil current trays, so looks nice. What I'm not interested in this time is the speed, so I'm gonna turn off this one. And I'm interested in the motion, and it's not very well placed, so I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna go to graph layout to do these changes. I turn off the speed. I change the motion, the position, and also the scaling. It's too small, so I want it bigger. So I change to a smaller setting here. I go back to graph, and now I can look at the timings, the coil current, and the motion. Under parameters, I can see my results, and I can see that the timing was 59 milliseconds. We're going to turn the knob so the instrument will operate the circuit breaker simulator. I turn the knob to the right, and the measurement begins after a short delay. and the status indication change on the simulator. And here we can see the results from the open operation. The three timing graphs, 
the coil current and the motion and the result as parameters 68.5 Thank you very much for your time and effort to uh, follow this instruction. Um, don't forget to practice this before you go out to the client. And always think about the safety when you work in stations. Thank you very much.